good day to all of you today i am back with dispensing pearl spectacle lens thickness and as promised this is the part 2 on the frame selection just a quick recap we already had two videos one on the prescription one on the index prescription gave an advice on how to consider cylindrical axis to judge the impact of prescription on thickness and index how to maintain a good balance between optics and thickness so let us now see the frame selection just bringing all of you on the same context we are going to see these four prescription index we already completed frame selection is what we are going to see in this section and pd consideration will follow so let us quickly get into frame selection so to give, keep it very simple for frame selection i just want to remember want all of you to remember three aspects frame size or say diameter frame shape and frame type these are the three important aspect that one should always keep in mind when you are suggesting frame in order to control spectacle lens thickness let us quickly get into frame size so this is one rule guys uh, all of you should be remembering this to make it very simple and clear diagonal measure should not be greater than equal to 2 mm of the a size now what is diagonal measure what is a size this is the diagonal measure of the frame okay and as you all know this is the a size so your diagonal measure should not be greater than equal to 2 mm of the a size so just check if you don't have customer pd and if you are supposed to select the frame for the customer please remember this okay this rule is to make sure that we all are selecting a frame which will require a minimum blank dia minimum diameter of the lens okay so just for the info this happens to be the b size the depth of the frame happens to be the b size now let us see what is the impact of dia on the thickness consider this is a power okay and now if i have to make a 60 diameter lens a 60 diameter lens will have center thickness this happens to be a plus lens and the center thickness is this the sagittal depth will be a blue headed arrow which is seen here now just in case if i end up selecting a bigger frame say i need a 70 dia lens just look at what happens if the diameter increases the red line which is 70 mm dia you can see that the sagittal depth has increased the center thickness of the lens has increased now this is for your plus lenses how about minus lenses now let us look at the minus lens 60 mm you can see there in 60 mm the thickness part and for 70 mm though the minus lens and the thickness is not going to change but for 70 mm you can see the thickness part so basically if we are going to stick with the lower dia it is going to give us a better lens profile this is what i am explaining in this image for you wherein a stock plus lens and a surface plus lens you can see the difference the red dotted line as the diameter is reducing you can see that the center thickness in the plus lens for the image on the left hand side reduces similarly for the minus lens irrespective of whether i am giving a bigger dia or a small dia if the smaller diameter you can see the red dotted line in the bottom most picture and the bigger diameter you can see the top most line below the minus lens which is mentioned there so the thickness increases if we are going to give a higher diameter to give a lower diameter just remember the rule diagonal measure should not be greater than equal to 2 mm to 
make sure that the dia required for the fr for the selected frame is kept at minimum level level let us get into frame shape how the frame shape is going to have an impact on the thickness i am taking one frame shape here and you can see that it is not rounded it is all straight edged and you can see let us do one thing we will take a lens and then we will first cut the lens on the a size so you can see the red line which the thickness would come in the frame now let us consider the lens and cut it on the p size so you can see here the red and the blue line which is crossing here the corner of the frame the corner of the frame is not uh, is, is very sharp and the intersection line the red and the blue line is actually not having any room wherein we can reduce the thickness because it is very sharp and there is no room for reduction of thickness let us consider a frame which have a rounded edge something like this and i'm going to do the same thing i'm cutting the lens at a size cutting the lens at the b segment and now here you can see that the intersection junction has a little yellow triangle now this yellow triangle is the key this will help reduce the thickness at the edges and this is what is the difference that the rounded edge is going to give so it is important that when we select the frame shape it should not have a too sharp edges if it has a rounded edges it is going to help reduce thickness slightly more right let us understand st still in depth so let us take few frame shapes now in this particular uh, demo you will see that how the shape will impact n stand for nasal t stands for temporal now this happens to be a shape which has a very sharp edges so you can see more the sharp edges there will be more thickness now just in case if your edges are rounded this is the benefit that you will get a small green triangle that you see at the edges are the areas wherein the thickness will reduce now imagine a very old style round frame or an oval frame which are again picking up market which are also coming in trend now you can see the advantage that the oval frame has right so a maximum thickness can be reduced if we are going with a frame which has more rounded edges especially on the temple side so just remember this round edges at the temple is going to make life easy selecting shapes of round edges at the temple is going to be very useful for all of us going ahead let's see the third important point which was frame type as all of us know plastic has a broader rim so plastic uh, will actually hide more thickness right plastic full frame will hide maximum thickness of the lens metal on the other hand will help reduce the thickness but this this, this thickness is going to be only minimum only minimum thickness will be hidden by the metal frame we will see an example of plastic full frame metal full frame now when it comes to rimless you all know that rimless is a complete lens which is visible a complete thickness profile will be visible and we have to be very careful when selecting the rimless frame because at times if the lens thickness is too much at the edges it will be difficult for us to punch hole ensure that the fittings are correct supra and half rim frame supra or the half rim frame again the top portion of the frame will help hide some amount of thickness but the bottom part of the lens will be open and the complete thickness would be visible so let us see the example here i have one example of a full metal frame you can see the thickness for yourself now if we have a plastic frame see how much impactful it is 
right it is hiding half of the thickness and that is why we have to be very careful and select frame which would which would complement especially the frame type which would complement the thickness so the example taken here is of a very high minus lens it is just for illustrative purpose so as usual guys i have a homework for all of you please share three important aspect that was covered in this presentation on frame selection you can always submit your answer in the comments as usual and now we are left with one part which is interpupillary distance what is the impact of ipd on the thickness and that is going to come shortly thanks for watching this video and i hope it had a good learning thank you